Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. You want to mention that uh, part of today's program is also brought to you in part by cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. Want to go straight to my next guest with a company called, uh, really, a, um, what do you call it? A practice, I guess, almost. InspireMalibu.com, uh, helping people deal with addiction and uh, the impact addiction has. Uh, interesting uh, pitch we received from folks uh, related to our guest, Akikor Muhammad, uh, regarding this topic. And, you know, and we're in offices today, in businesses today, we're dealing with uh, coworkers and we're dealing with bosses who suffer from addiction issues. And therefore, whole organizations suffer with addiction issues. And we wanted to talk a little bit more about that. And Dr. Muhammad, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you for having me. You bet. Tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and InspireMalibu.com. Okay. Uh, first of all, you know, I'm uh, double board certified. I'm certified, board certified in addiction medicine and board certified in psychiatry. And also I'm associate professor at University of Southern California. And you have mentioned Inspire Malibu. So I'm, I'm founder of Inspire Malibu, which is a 100% science and evidence-based drug treatment center. Okay. And, uh, you know, and I'm looking, by the way, if you go to the website, inspiremalibu.com, it looks like a house. Yeah, it's a house because... <laughs> it's a huge house. It's a huge house, but it looks like a house. <laughs> it looks like a house because uh, in California, in residential treatment centers, you can have only six beds or more. You know, so um, uh, most of the uh, drug treatment centers are in different houses. Like every treatment center, they have different kind of houses. Like they can have two, three, four, five houses, and every house can uh, have only six patients at a time. They cannot have more than six patients. Oh, okay. And uh, I guess that's to make sure it's not, its primary purpose is to uh, help people get better and not be a revenue uh, driver for that uh, facility. No, no. We, we treat patients and we have comprehensive treatment program for anyone and especially for the people, we, what we are t- uh, talking about, the business people, professionals, uh, we treat them all. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. So uh, tell me about, uh, you know, that situation that I think is becoming increasingly common of uh, having, uh, you know, coworkers and bosses and things like that that uh, are clearly addicts by their behavior. Talk a little bit about that as a problem. Okay. I have been there. I work with uh, C-suite individuals, professionals, attorneys, doctors. So if you see somebody who is suffering from addiction, it's okay to intervene. Uh, you shouldn't be fearful of intervening. Give an example. I had a patient, CEO of a company, who had good relationship with his CFO, and he saw, he realized the problem of the CEO, and he approached him, hey, you have problem. Why don't you go and seek treatment? You know, they always have excuses that, you know, I have responsibilities, I don't have time, but you can make time because there is nothing more important than your health. So you can approach them and you can uh, convince them to seek treatment. It's not easy, but you can work on it. Okay. And, um, yeah, and I I imagine it's not easy because uh, addicts will do what they do until they're ready to stop doing it. So... Uh, what are some things that that are that can be done that might be functional that m- might have you know make a difference? Okay, the first thing is this: you need to uh, carefully engage with them, and you have to make, of course you know it, it, uh, primary responsibility falls on patients, okay, or or for individuals. They have to be ready to get treatment. If they don't want to, it's very very hard but you need to find a way to engage with them and show them that what, what are the things they're doing, that the, uh, their behavior, because of their addiction, are impacting work, impacting their career, impacting their family uh, functioning, and their, and, and their health. So if you can carefully uh, point these things out, it would be easier probably to get them sick treatment. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And these individuals, they are very intelligent, and they know that they have they have problem with them. But sometimes they not not sometimes often they even though they know that they need treatment, but they will not seek treatment because of uh, time. Sometimes they are fearful that people will know about their problem, their addiction. But, you know, we can keep it confidential. Nobody should know. Nobody should know that they came for treatment. If anybody came to Inspire Malibu. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, anonymity remains uh, key, obviously. Um, Hey, Akifor Muhammad, he's been our guest. Dr. Muhammad, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome, and uh, thanks for having me. InspireMalibu.com. InspireMalibu.com. When we come back, much more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USDataReview.com. I am Kevin Price, and this is The Price of Business.